So I'm here at South by Southwest and we just got the most amazing announcement. Zappos has been fabulous, but now we have a new company by Zappos and we have a female CEO and I am pleased to announce that and I, I'm i going to just give the camera back to you because okay. you, you stole the, the, the whole show here today. So well, tell, us, tell us what's happening. Well, it's really exciting because um, last year we basically launched a book called Delivering Happiness. Uh, Tony Shea, Zappos CEO, wrote it. Um, and we, we launched it, it uh, hit a lot of lists, we're really proud of it. And what we didn't expect was that we got so much feedback from people, not just in businesses, which was really cool. Um, right. Business saying, you know, we can apply the happy, happiness as a framework to what we're doing every day as well. But more than that, we got emails and personal stories from people just saying, you know what, I want to apply it to where I'm working, which is a hospital, or a school, or education. Um, in you know higher education or high school or, or grade school, uh, government. I mean, just just all around the world too. After the book got translated in different languages, right. so from this feedback, we just couldn't help but think, you know what? There's something here that's more than what we originally thought. It's not just a book anymore. And we t we did a bus tour. We did like cross country three months, uh, 23 cities. It was crazy, but all part of that process was learning about these really personal stories of how this book has affected their life. So now we were thinking, like, why? Why is it that it struck a chord? And and one of the things that research shows is that people in life generally want to find happiness and find meaning in their lives. Right. But as humans, we are actually the worst predictors of what makes us happy. Mm. And the book talks about frameworks of how you can find your own personal happiness based on being yourself, being passionate about what you're doing, and, and having a higher purpose, no matter what it is. I mean, it could be anything. You know, like collecting dandelions to you know trying to you know create a new company so that's where we come in and we want to be this platform uh, we're calling it like a vessel or, or a community basically where we're hearing from all these people with different stories different lives different backgrounds and we just want to put them together because we all have one shared vision which is basically we can actually inspire and increase and spread happiness in this world so that's like the high level vision that's of the very cool that's very cool I think one of the things, and, and maybe this is true, maybe it's not true, but I think that the world is really changing and it's kind of getting turned inside out because of social media. Yeah. So I'm a lot older than you, I think. <laughs> no. And, uh, and I, what I saw was, so in the old days I used to work you know, for very large companies and they were very top-down management and right. people were told what to do and how to think and how to be and it, it, you really couldn't talk back, right, because you could get fired. Mm -hmm. And now with social media, there's the voice of the people and the voice of the customer and the voice of the employee. And so, and of course, I am very inspired by what Zappos did. You know, customer service as the revenue generator. I mean, that's like, you know, flipping the funnel upside down. The customer is the most important asset that you have. And so I think that social media is really turning companies, government, education, everything upside down. And I think that the pursuit of what we maybe thought was happiness was maybe that picture of the white picket fence and the house and the dog and the two kids and whatever material things we were driving towards and kind of that pro promise of this wonderful life if we worked really hard and did good at our job. We found false happiness in this and maybe what you're saying is that we're redefining what our goals and beliefs and objectives are yeah. and they're not so concrete and they're more of a almost esoteric nature where if we're connected to something higher than that that we can find ourselves in you know believing in something bigger than ourselves as some sort of cause yeah. and being connected to that cause then leads to that feeling of happiness Absolutely. I think at the end it's just because, yes, now social media is, is one of the elements of it, but at this time, this day and age, technology you know, is rampant and it's there wherever we go. So um, it all leads to the fact that uh, transparency is a huge thing for delivering happiness. And Zappos has been a great example of that. But basically, you know, just by being true to who you are, um, whether you're at work, or you know, in front of a certain group of people, or you know, just at home, you should be that same person. And then, by being that person, you actually start realizing, you know, what are the things that you really feel something for? Like, what are the daily stuff that you do that you feel passionate about? And then that all kind of blends to 
like you said, you know, it's like a, a process to get to that higher purpose. So, you know, that, that makes sense. What, whatever it is, like uh, Zappos calls it core values, and I believe it. Myself, it's just like once you figure out what your priorities are in life, um, then everything else gets easier because those hard decisions aren't hard anymore. Because you know, like for me, number one is people, people right. community, family, friends. Yeah. So. If I make a decision, especially a big one, not based on that, then I know I'm doing something wrong in life. So right. I have to base it all around those things that actually make me happy, which is the point. So you have good boundaries and the, the people boundaries. Cause there, yeah. I have a, a really um, a poet, his name is David White, and he I saw him speak in person and he said that 60%, we leave 60% of ourselves in the car, on the bus, or on the train when we go into huh. work. Yeah. And I thought that was really kind of an interesting way to think about that. And so when we go into work, we're not really all there. Yeah. Like we don't really like wear the outfit we would normally wear or comb our hair the same right. or tell the same jokes or really not have our whole personality. And I think that's the, the construct of the top-down command and control kind of, totally. you know, structure of how you know corporate America or education or government was structured right. you know partially from the military sort of organizational structures and so I think social media giving everybody their own voice back mm -hmm. you know kind of what the clue train manifesto had talked about was that there was a train coming and watch and <laughs> watch out and get a clue right, right. and so I think that that's kind of the the under lying thing and then you know you guys turned everything upside down in terms you know because I, I get this all the time I, I talk about you guys and and you know companies go oh don't compare us to Zappos so that's terrible <laughs> we, we can't be Zappos and I go why not why wouldn't you want to be that profitable why wouldn't you want to go from zero to a billion dollars in ten years right, right. right? like that's not an excuse in my mind so yeah. why why wouldn't you want to be happy why wouldn't you want to be profitable yeah. so I I, my hat's off to you guys for just really breaking the barriers, breaking the paradigm, and just shaking it off. I'm so excited to see what you're going to do next. Thank you. And a female CEO, dang, <laughs> that is really cool. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's an exciting time, and, and, and you, like you said, you know, people are just uh, tuning in and being a little bit more aware that this just makes sense. Uh, this is not built on, you know, we're not building delivery happiness on, you know, feel good, you know, that kind of. Right. It's just actually scientific research, you know, if you figure out the frameworks of happiness for yourself, then you can actually be a happy person and, and make others happier as well. So. All right, well, I look forward to our next interview. Same here, thank you very much. I look forward to being on the happy bus. <laughs> yes, see you and, tonight. Uh, we'll yes. Weekend, so. yes, I will find you. All right, and um, we'll, we'll chat again soon. Cool, thank, thank you. you.